I'm Terry. And I'm Chris. Are you ready for a behind the scenes look at the latest episodes? Make sure you're all caught up on the new season of 1,000 Pound Sisters. Y'all, today we gonna show y'all how to make sushi at home. Redneck sushi. You can find these ingredients in any country pantry. You have seaweed in your pantry. Well, you know, everybody's gotta have their own thing. Ever since I had my surgery, I went craving seafood. So in this episode, I tried to take Amy and the boys out to have some sushi. All right, ladies. I want to start him off with the chicken shampoo meal. And then we'll get the quail eggs. Okay. And the tofu sit. skin. Sit, sit, sit. Ah. Sit, sit, sit. I think we want to try the, the boat. You got the boat? One of the things I did get Amy to try was a quail egg. How'd that go down? Not very well. We both threw up. Ready. <laughs> that quail egg is the worst thing that has ever been in my mouth. And that's saying a lot. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want no part of that. They served it to us in a martini glass. Seriously, it was like a shot. I was shocked that Amy kind of just went on and swallowed the whole thing. You're braver than I am. I wouldn't have tried it. I wish I didn't try it. <laughs> the only one I know I like is the the shrimp tempura one. Mm -hmm. And I like the California roll. All the rest of them, I don't know too much about. I go with what I know. It's got to be at least 160 degrees. It's got to be cooked. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna mix up some sushi rice. And it's really easy, because all you gotta do is add some rice vinegar and sugar to your sticky rice. <laughs> that beer is a little strong today. All right, here's your pack of tuna. You got your bow over there. Mm -hmm. We got sriracha and soy sauce and Miracle Whip, my salad dressing and wasabi. You know, the good thing about using tuna is, is you don't gotta mess with a whole fish or anything raw, it's already cooked. And you can make your sushi roll with just your normal household canned tuna. What are you putting on yours? I'm gonna put a dot of swap subby. I'm not able to handle the spice like Tammy is, and she done put only sriracha in hers, so I couldn't eat hers if I wanted to because it'd be too spicy for me. In this episode, Amy offers to push my chair, and she about sent me flying. You gotta think about these bricks, Amy! Fudge! You can't cut through here. Okay. Now there's people watching, cause people don't care. Amy wasn't really paying attention to me. There was a lot going on, traffic, whatever. And there was a bunch of breaks in the road. And I was trying to tell her, Amy, stop so I could walk across it. She wasn't listening and I about flipped. Well, when it comes to getting Tammy where she needs to go, you call an expert like me. Not everybody can be as good a driver as Chris. I tip him with those middle fingers. That's that sisterly love right there. If Amy is that bad driving a wheelchair, how the heck do you think she's going to do in a row? That's why they didn't give her no license. Good boy. Well, Speaking of getting a little reckless, Amy and I decided to hit a rage room while you all were gone. Ready? One, two, three. I've always wanted to do that. Goodbye, demon. Ah! Hit the computer. Michael. Play your damn video games. Damn, you got lots of anger. You hit me. I'm sorry. 
Why are you paying money to bring <laughs> Hell, you could come to my house. I'll set s up for free. Well, I didn't know that, and you were going out of town, so I improvised. Yeah, were y'all in the same room together? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> someone that didn't burn that place down. No, nothing was plugged in. <laughs> I guess it's time to cut up this cucumber and avocado. How you doing over here? No, sir. Thick, thick, but it'd be all right. What you didn't see in this episode was the welcome that was waiting when I hauled Amanda and Misty home. Oh! Can I have it? Well, it's about time. I'm like, well, who's that in that car? <laughs> My sweetheart. We ain't gonna reuse it. Let me pick him up and let me see him. Since Amy and I are pros from surgery now, we put Amanda and Misty at care basket together. Okay, monkey, stay away from that fire, baby. Yeah, I need you something. We done set y'all up a little something, something. Thank you. It's a, it's a care package basket. Oh, well, y'all didn't have to do this. Thank you. Where the hell was my care basket when I had my surgery? I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> we have our sushi rice, our tuna, and our veggies. I have road sushi, but it's been a while. So you want to try to get this going? I guess so. I have never rolled sushi. The big thing is, is just make it roll like a burrito. Which side do you put down first? Is it the textured side or is it the... I always put the textured side on the inside. What and I then you just put your rice, yeah. a little bit of rice, and whatever vegetables and your protein in it, and you wrap it up the best you can. I know why you put so much rice in yours is all that sriracha is going to be burning your booty hole. <laughs> How do I roll it? Like a cigar? I never rolled a cigar. Now don't roll your plastic up in it. Just mm -hmm. roll that. There you go. Hot damn, it's a fatty. But it looks good. My first one. All right. You're gonna... <laughs> Mine's walking down the plate, but it's there. That's my redneck sushi. They got some unique personality. <laughs> Hope they taste better than they look. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> you gonna dip yours in soy sauce? No, you gonna mm -hmm. go right in. Mm. Mm. Enough wasabi to clear your nose. Mm -hmm. They're good. They really are good. I think y'all try one of mine. I don't think so. Why? Because. Scared. I mean, you're welcome to try mine, but I got, I'm scared to try I yours. I promise you, I did not put much on it. I even went back and put wasabi in it. Oh, it's no. still not that spicy because I, I spooned it out. Okay, Tammy, but your spicy and my spicy are two different things. Well, I guess that concludes our redneck sushi experience. <laughs> And that's how you make redneck sushi. You heard it here, folks. We hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look of the latest episode. Thank you for watching and keep watching A Thousand Pound Sisters on TLC.